everyone, it is Sophie and I am back with a naked face of makeup um, because I want to do a little bit of a get ready with you guys and this one's going to be a talk through one because you guys said that you enjoyed whenever I talk in my videos more than um, voiceover. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Also, before we start the video and before I start applying things to my face, I wanted to point out my earrings today. This is from a Etsy user online that I actually met at work and I loved his earrings. They're from Raw Stone and I absolutely love them. These are the opal pair which are on his website and then he sent me with some more. And then here are the Morganite which are the pink emeralds. These are Spessor tight, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce them, but they're orange. And then one of my favorites are going to be the quartz because it's clear and it's, I just think it's like dainty and pretty. You're not going to be able to see much because they're clear. And then these champagnes, which are probably one of my favorites as well because they're so small and dainty. And these are topaz. So I have something exciting about these earrings. I have a coupon code on his Etsy for 5% off of your total purchase. So just make sure to type in T by S1 whenever you go to check out and it will let him know to take 5% off of your order. You should seriously try this guy out. He makes some great earrings. They're so dainty, so pretty. These opal, I'm seriously in love with. And just make sure to go check him out. He has some pendants made out of rock and everything like that, so make sure to go check him out. And let me know if you guys order anything or if you visit his page. Um, the link will be in the description so that um, you can find all of his info. So I'm just gonna start on my eyes, put on some primer, and I have a mirror right here, just if you guys see me glancing over here, looking over here. And this is the Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott, and I love this primer. It's so thin, but it works, but it's so thin and creamy. Okay, and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, and I'm going to do some shimmery champagnes and all of that fun junk. So first I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this, put this on the um, lid, and then put these darker colors into the crease. I'm using some mattes, so I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. C brush, then use this brush from Coastal Scents, which is a great brush. And use Silk Teddy, and this all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sigma, oh my gosh, it's all rubbing off. Sigma E35, that makes me mad that it's rubbing off. Go into Nudie. pretty pigmented as you can see. So now that we have this on our eyeballs and I look like I haven't slept in six months now that we've achieved that look because I feel like whenever I put on an eyeshadow and then I don't have any face makeup on I look like a psychopath like a little bit of a crazy person. Okay and I'm now going to take just a little bit of push up actually on my finger <clears throat> and put this on the center of my eyelid. So once that's on there, I'm going to take my Morph, Morphe brush. I'm going to go into Cashmere Bunny and just put this in the crease and on the outer thirds. And if you haven't seen my Morph haul, definitely check it out. I have swatches and everything, of, um, so make sure to check that video out. I will have the link in the description. I've been using bright colored eyeshadows like nobody's business. I used pink last night and it... I just, I loved it so much. I was so obsessed. And then when I got home, I didn't want to take it off at all. Okay, so now that we have all of the colors that we want on our eyeballs, I'm going to take the Smug Tash by Brem Cachis. I don't know how to read French, so. And I'm just going to blend out the shades with our highlight shade. Now that we are done with the eyes, we can now move on to the face. So for the face, I'm just going to pin my hair back like a crazy person. How do you guys feel about the hair? I really, I don't know. I'm... I can't decide if I like it or not. I think that I like it, but okay. So now that my hair looks like it's not brushed and looks a little bit crazy, but now that I'm showing off these beautiful earrings, um, I am going to I'm going to take the Porefessional uh, by Bomb or by Benefit by Benefit, and I'm going to squeeze out as much as I can. Just apply this to my face. 
And I think that this makes my, my foundation go on so smoothly. I love this. It makes it go on so smoothly. Right here is where my skin looks the most dry when I have foundation on. That's where it kind of breaks apart. And with this on, it doesn't. And it's still so smooth right there. Except it does get a little oily and greasy right there. So that's not good. I'd rather have honestly oily and greasy where I just need to put some powder on it and having dry skin that I really can't do anything to once my foundation's on. I'm going to take my beauty blender and my favorite foundation which you guys know is the L'Oreal True Match in N2. I've been using this for probably the past year and I've really liked it. Maybe a little bit less than a year. Maybe 10 months or so. I'm gonna just take a first dab and I do one side at a time so now that I've dabbed all of that semi-evenly just so that I don't have to do as much work with the beauty blender. So now that I've put the foundation all over my face I'm going to go in with my Dream Lumi Touch Camouflant Lumine, Lumine by Maybelline and this is uh, almost like fresh out. This is gonna be probably my last use of this, which it works really well and I really like it and it's really good quality. But thing is, is that twelve dollars for this little tube and it didn't even last me a month, like not even a month. So I just kind of think like that it's kind of useless because I'm still working on my fat concealer. That's twenty twenty five dollars, and I'm still working on it. So it's just it's not it doesn't withstand the test of time basically just it runs out too quickly and it's not worth the money when it work when it runs out that quick and I would like to purchase more of them because they're perfect for um they're a perfect shade and everything and consistency for clients and stuff because it's a perfect um highlight but I just I don't want to spend that much money when I could just go to MAC which I'm going to do I'm gonna go to MAC and I'm gonna get a couple shades lighter and a couple shades darker just so I have some more colors for clients just so I'm using you know some high-end products on them now that that is done I'm going to do my eyebrows and as you guys probably know it's the Anastasia pomade in soft brown. It's my favorite way to apply my brows and I use the angled brush by e.l.f. which I need to get more of because I'm lazy and I don't like to wash these brushes but they get so full of gunk that you can't really use them with they're that dirty so obviously instead of washing them more often I'm just gonna buy some more because they're only three dollars I think. I think this brush is only three. They probably have some on morph too so I should see how much those are. I'm gonna get the morph ones too because I've been loving morph so much. I might as well try some more of their products. The only thing I don't like about morph per se is the fact that it's only online and um, you have to pay shipping. A lot of places, you know, there's there's a coupon code or there's a promo code out there for free shipping. Well, there's pro there are promo codes out there for 10% uh, off of Morphe. Morph I can't decide how to pronounce it. Um, but there's no free shipping one. So that's a little bit of a bummer because I don't like paying shipping. I don't know why. Like, I just, I don't like paying shipping. But I guess I'll pay shipping for a product that I like. Um, I think I'm actually going to bake today. I haven't baked in a while. So I'm going to dab up my beauty blender. Oh, this just irritates my eyes. That's the only thing I don't like about it, that it seriously irritates my eyeballs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My eyeballs are like, Sophie, why are you doing this to me? Sorry, eyeballs. I didn't mean it. I don't mean it. Take my under eyes and then my chin. My chin a little bit. Can I just bake my whole face? Like, is that allowed? I'm not sure, but I kind of want to. I kind of just want to bake my whole face. So now that I've done this, I don't really know what I'm going to do in the meantime. I guess I'll go brush my teeth. That could be a good use of time. All right, so while I'm waiting for this to bake, I just brush my teeth, put on my necklaces, and now I'm going to put on my lip color, which super exciting because it's Jordana's Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. I'm in love with these. I had these on for, what was it? I had it on from 6 o'clock to 12.30. Like what? Like eight, eight and a half hours. Sorry, my cats are fighting. Eight and a half hours and it was, it still lasts. And I had a meal and I had some snacks and uh, I don't understand. I had like greasy food and it didn't break it down. So pretty impressed with this. I'll probably do a whole review and a whole swatching because I want to get all 12 colors, so look out for that. <laughs> I don't want to leave the container open too long because I don't want it to dry out. Okay, 
So now it's on and it's beautiful as ever and it will get a little bit darker while I wear it. It basically turns into the color of tiramisu even though this is the creme brulee. So this is color creme brulee um, zero, it's the zero one. And it basically darkens into the color of tiramisu just to let you know, just in case you were curious. So now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. blush brush and just dust this away. And my lips are dry, so there won't be any powder. If I was wearing regular lipstick, I wouldn't do it before this step, but it's not. It's matte. It's beautiful. I love it. Also, if you did not see my Jordana review, that will be in the description as well. I did some swatches to show you guys some of the lip colors and to tell you guys how I felt about the brand as a whole and how I felt about individual products. Go check that out. Now I'm going to take my new Morphe M527 and my Tarte, which you guys know what I'm doing right now. If you guys have seen my contouring video, which will also be down in the description. It's referencing 60,000 videos right now. So try to check them all out. Just use like the transition shade for your face. It's perfect to get your forehead because it's so big so it can get like your full forehead. Just to darken up the whole forehead. Dab it a little bit on your nose. Uncle blend up. Oh, clock. So now that we have that, I'm just gonna do my normal contour routine. Now I'm actually taking an e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink because I just want something like very natural since we did like so much for the eyes and for the lips. I want to do something natural for the face. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and it doesn't have a ton of color payoff. But just so we have something on the cheeks that kind of like rosy them up just a slight bit and give them a little bit of color. Now I'm going to take my M143 from Morphe and this Sephora in Light Beam and dust this on as my highlight. And then I'm just going to do my mascara. Alright guys, so that is the whole video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on my channel next week. Go make sure to check out the earrings and to check out that Etsy page. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.